you guys what's up welcome back to my channel this is your girl IJ if this is your first time being here you are welcome to IJ transformation and if you are an OG hey what's up girl welcome back for another video so in this video I'm going to show you guys how I clean my sponges and my brushes I am using this Dawn antibacterial soap dish soap yes and I'm also going to use the clinic take the day of cleansing oil when I use both products, I feel like it just helps the makeup to slide off the brushes easily. So that's why I use both products. I am also using this mat. I've had it for a very long time. I think I picked it up from TJ Maxx. You can get this from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever. They sell makeup stuff. You can get this, um, this, this mat. So that is what I am using. I Temperature of the water is just lukewarm. So all I do is I dip the um, the brush in the soap and the mixture of the Dawn soap and the Clinique cleansing oil. Then I just swirl it all over the mat and that is all. It's very easy guys. Then I just run it under the running water and I just squeeze off the excess and make sure that all the makeup is out. So if I see the water still kind of brown, then I know it's not clean. But once it's clear, then I know it is clean. So just do that front and back and you are good. So once you have all your brushes all looking nice and clean, one other step that I like to do is to use a comb and comb through the bigger brushes, like the powder brush, the foundation brush. I use a comb to comb through the brushes. I feel like when I do this, it kind of detangle any fiber that is misplaced or something. Because you know, when you swirl them forward and back, you can easily misplace the fibers and they just look bent or, you know, tangled up in, in inside. So I use the comb to just detangle everything and you are good to go. So that is what I actually did. And then for the smaller brushes, what I do is I combine like two or three and I just do the same thing on the mat and I just run it on the warm water or lukewarm water and that is all. It's very easy to wash your brushes, guys. So I'm going to let you guys watch this through and I'm going to come back towards the end of it to talk to you guys. So let's go. When I am washing my brushes, I pay special attention to the foundation brush or on the foundation brush because that takes a little more time to clean, you know, all the foundation in there like it's a lot. So you might have to wash your foundation brush like a couple more times than you would the other brushes. So you have to go forward and back in the soap and just swirl it forward and back and just make sure that everything is out. And once you do that, please make sure you open up your foundation brush and just make sure that it's clean right inside. If not, just do that front and back. Sometimes you might have to use baking soda, which I didn't really use in this video because I didn't feel like I needed to. Like I feel like just using the dish soap and that clinic cleansing oil does a very good job. So if you have to use baking soda at some point to clean your brushes, then you may just have to do that in order to get everything off. Because like I said, your foundation brush takes a little more time. So at this point, I am cleaning my um, beauty blender and sponges. This actually, I see many people, they put it in the microwave and stuff, but I don't really do that. I don't know how that works. So I just do the old traditional way and I just use my fingers and I squeeze it for them back and everything comes right out. And I'm also just using the remainder of the Dawn soap and the Clinique um, cleansing oil. I actually had to add a little more of the Clinique. 
cleansing oil just so that the foundation or the concealer can come off easily so I am just running it through my fingers and just squeezing it out just to make sure that everything is out and that's just how I wash my sponges once everything is nice and clean I set it aside and I'm good to go yeah just squeeze it run it on the clean on the water and squeeze out every excess once the water is clean you know it is clean or once the water is clear then you know it is clean so that's what i'm doing right now go with the final product everything is nice and clean the brushes are clean the sponges are clean as if you can if you realize I actually put the brushes in a slanted position why I did that because I don't want the water to go deep into the fibers and destroy the glue that's been hold, used to hold the fiber fibers so when you clean your brush your brushes please make sure you have them in a slanted position or in an up down in an upside down position just so that the water can drip out and not go into the brushes and destroy the fiber and also the wood that's used to make the brushes so yes that's it guys if you did like this video please give me a huge thumbs up do not forget to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already i'll talk to you guys in the next one